Okay, hello YouTube. Um, I'm going to be replacing a check valve on a, on my uh, sprinkler pump that goes to my sprinkler pump. I, I live here in South Florida and we have uh, wells down here. And um, here's the piece I cut out. I have a rag in here to keep any debris out for the time being. But anyway. Basically, this is what I had in here, and I cut it out, so I have a check valve, and basically what the check valve is there for is um, it's so you don't lose prime. When your water shuts off, the water will stay in your lines that go to your sprinkler heads. But down here in South Florida, we got a lot of sand and sediment in there, and over time, these... Um, check valves get clogged up and they need to be replaced. There's my new one. When you're installing these you gotta make sure that there's an air, there's an arrow on here and you gotta make sure <coughs> you install it correctly. Uh, the one I had in here had slip fittings but this time I'm gonna go with the uh, this kind of fitting. Let me take this out of here. <clears throat> and go with this type of fitting so in the future if this goes bad so this will come up like this now uh, <clears throat> what I'm going to do first is before I start gluing I'm going to put I want to wrap this with Teflon tape so I just so I don't have to do it down in there. It's no big deal. You can do it after. But I figured I would do it first. And then I'm going to glue this onto here. Basically what you want to do is just dry fit everything first. And make sure everything's good to go. Um, so let's get to it. These three uh, connectors. There's one already on here. Um, one's going to go in here. Basically, for my dry fit, what I'm going to do is I'm going to snug up this connector. Alright, so for my dry fit, obviously I have to cut this. Alright, so here's the finished product. Um, I did a dry fit. I didn't want to really videotape that because you know, it's kind of boring, but um, I made a big mark here just for my own. I know there's a mark here on the check valve, but I wanted to make sure, you know, whatever. That's just me being paranoid because once this thing's in, it's in. And let's see. So basically what I bought was... Alright, so I bought a new one of these, and I am not a plumber, so I don't know what the correct terminology for some of these fittings are, but I bought this thing, <laughs> and I bought a short piece of pipe, an elbow, I know this is an elbow, um, a one and a half inch pipe, one and a half inch pipe, uh, another one of those uh, threaded coupler, whatever it is, check valve, threaded coupler, and this, from here, this pipe was here, this is where I cut originally, this pipe, so if this ever fails again, I figure what I need to do, I guess I could have put a union in here, um, and basically, basically a union is where you can just unscrew it, which is maybe what I should have did now that I think about it, but it's all right. It's not a big, it's not a huge deal to replace this piece here. So in the future, I'll have to cut here. If this fails again, I'll have to cut here, and then this should screw right out of here, and I'll still have my threaded. Um, up inside here is this piece. It's threaded. 
So I'll still have this piece here. So that'll be easier for next time. Because this, the original one had a slip, which is a smooth, just a slide on. There's no threads in there. Uh, that's pretty much it.